Hey everyone, this is Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. And in this video, I'm going to continue my uh, the series that I've been doing and showing you how I diagnose my clients' QuickBooks online. Um, in case you didn't know, my team and I specialize in uh, doing some very massive QuickBooks online cleanup. We've been doing this for several years. So we've been able to develop a very deep skill set in QuickBooks. Uh, cleaning up QuickBooks. And so I am sharing with you then how I go about diagnosing my clients' QuickBooks. And in this video, I am showing you how I diagnose the undeposited funds account. So let's get started. Okay, so from the balance sheet, in case um, if you've seen the undeposited funds account, and you probably have, but I don't want to assume, um, you would see it on the balance sheet and you would see it right here. And it's going to have a balance. Now, if you click on undeposited funds, you're just going to see a lot of transactions going in and out for whatever time frame you've pulled up. So it's not very helpful. It certainly it's not going to help you to clean it up. The real way to see what's actually in the undeposited funds account is from the plus sign. So if you go to the plus sign and click bank deposit, bank deposit is going to show you what is in undeposited funds. So if you were to select all of these transactions, then you can see that the total amount in undeposited funds is 138,777.04, which is the amount that was on the balance sheet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unselect all of these transactions. Okay, so what we're looking at here again is what is in the undeposited funds account. And now you can see the exact transactions that are in the account. Whereas, as I said before, if you're looking from the balance sheet detail, you wouldn't be able to tell. So what we want to do here is to uh, look at what's in the account and see if we have any old uh, transactions that haven't cleared out. So we are looking at the books in, in this sample company as of 12-31-2021. So it's the end of the year of 2021. And what we're looking for is old balances that haven't cleared out of the undeposited funds account. And as we can see that there are a lot of transactions that are old um, that haven't cleared out. So that is what's making up the bulk of what's sitting in this account. So how do you go about of cleaning this up. You cannot enter journal entries to get rid of undeposited funds. It does not work. It's just going to mess up things even more. So in order to clean this up, then um, you have to do it in one of two ways. And I have a blog post um, where I show you how to do that. I'll post a link down below. But basically, um, the first way is to actually go back and find all of these deposits, all of the, the uh, supporting documentation for these deposits and attempt to record them correctly. And then the other is just to get rid of them in one entry. If you were to do the method uh, number one of going through and working through each and every transaction, it's going to be very time consuming. It might be the best way to do it, but it's going to be the most time consuming. And also you have to keep in, keep in mind that somewhere um, the deposits have been recorded. More than likely, they're recorded in sales already because the, the client recorded the uh, income directly to sales instead of applying those customer payments to uh, undeposited funds. And so more than likely, the sales amount is already recorded. Not correct, but the amounts are in sales. So the second way in which to do this is then to get rid of these all in one entry. And the way to clean this up then is to use a dummy bank account to clear it out. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to get out of undeposited funds. I'll go to the chart of accounts. And I don't have an account, so I will create one. So we'll just call it a, a bank type account. It doesn't matter what the detail type is. This account will go away after we're done with it. And let's just call it dummy. Okay, dummy bank account. Save and close. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and go back to undeposited funds. So from the plus sign, select bank deposit. And I'm going to change this account from the bank account to the dummy bank account. I'm going to change the date to whatever date is that I'm recording this adjustment. I will record it as of 12-31-2021. That is the, the year that I'm working on with this sample company. And I'm going to select all of the old uh, transactions that I want to clear out. Now keep in mind, you may have valid transactions towards the end of the year. Um, in this particular case, we don't. So I'm just going to click Select All. This is selecting all of the um, undeposited funds. Actually, let me go to the second page and select everything. Okay, so here actually I can see that I probably have some valid um, items at the end of the year. So I'm going to select all for this page, but I'm then, I am then going to deselect these because these are probably valid deposits as of the end of the year. And, and these might be, so again, this is, I'm playing with my sample company. You have to make sure that you determine what are uh, valid undeposited funds or invalid de undeposited funds for your company file or your client's file. But in my example, I uh, will just say that I determined that these are correct. So I will not clear them out. So now I have $148,517 that will be cleared out and we are clearing it against the dummy bank account. So again, going to the dummy bank account, and then I enter the date um, that I want that transaction to um, be recorded. So I will then go to the bottom right and say save and close. Okay, so now uh, when we look at the balance sheet, and let's go back to the balance sheet, and I'll change the date since I'm working with 2021. You can see that the balance has changed. It has gone down significantly for undeposited funds. And we left that amount as uh, what we said is the valid amount that should be in undeposited funds. Again, when we click on the plus sign, bank deposit, then we can see that these are the amounts that are in undeposited funds and that we said these are correct. Okay, but we do have an issue because we now have a balance sitting in the dummy bank account and that needs to be cleared out. So what we need to do is then to make an adjustment to move the transactions um, or move the amount out of the dummy bank account and to put it into sales or put it against sales. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and enter a journal entry so from the plus sign, select journal entry, change the date to make sure you use the right date. We will debit an income account. I'm just going to use sales of product income. You can use whatever income account you choose and enter the amount that is um, the balance that's sitting in the dummy bank account. And in the description, I'll say something about, I want to clear out the balance in undeposited funds. Okay, and in my credit, I'm going to then credit the dummy bank account. The same amount, same description, save and close. Okay, so as we can see here now in the dummy bank account, we have a zero balance. I would probably go ahead and make this account inactive so I don't um, accidentally use it for any reason. So let's make that inactive. Okay, so then let's take a look at our reports. So we'll take a look at the balance sheet. And as you can see here, we don't have a balance in the dummy bank account and undeposited funds has the correct balance. Now let's go ahead and look at the profit and loss report. 
change the date. And you can see here that I made the adjustment to sales of product income. Um, it is kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. So you might want to put that into another type of income account so that it doesn't really stand out that much. Uh, but um, this is the method in which you would use to um, eliminate the balances and then deposited funds if you don't have all of the detail or don't uh, have the time and desire to go back and change every single entry. Now you might be wondering, why is this a negative? Are the books wrong? It is a negative balance in sales, and that's because you assume that your sales income is duplicated, which it would be if, um, if sales were entered directly through invoices as well as um, deposits being entered directly to sales. And so in that case, sales would be overstated and duplicated. And so this would this negative would then decrease the amount of the sales. And as I said, I would probably then have chosen a different account instead of sales of product income, just so that it would then just show up as that uh, under that one account. Okay, so that was undeposited funds, how I review it, how I clean it up. And a word of caution it, with any sort of cleanup is that um, cleanups are like puzzles and, and cleanups are, are not black and white. You have to make some choices sometimes to put some amounts in, in particular accounts so that you can get things cleaned up and it's up to you then as the professional to determine if that adjustment ultimately is the best adjustment um, that you should be making for your client either either for your particular client or even in the year that you're recording transactions maybe some transactions need to be reviewed for prior years and so there's a lot that i could get into as to why or why not you know why should you adjust things when you should be adjusting why and how you should be adjusting but if you have comments go ahead and leave them in the comments below and let me know what you think or if you have other methods of cleaning up undeposited funds i'm veronica wasik if you find this content helpful then make sure that you like share and comment and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest videos bye